across the handle. Need to get a grip. We finally got some rain. We've been waiting for that for months. The grass has been burnt off. Uh, it's not been growing quite as well as we'd hoped. You're probably in the same boat as we are, but now today we've been rained off yesterday up until last night. We were making haylage bales, but now we can slow down a little bit. I've got the opportunity to use this in the field on the tedder. Um, and it gave me the opportunity to find the little niggles, the leaks, the little things that were wrong with it. There were a few, but actually nothing too bad overall. I'm really pleased with it. Um, there has been a few leaks sprung up here and there, so I'll just show you around them. There's a leak there, there's a leak there, there's a leak there, there's also a leak there. This is an oil pressure testing kit, which is going to allow me to plug it into there and see what kind of oil pressure this engine's getting. If it's pretty good, then I know I'm on to a winner. If not, then I know there might be some issues in the line, but either way, this should indicate what's what. So now with that pressure gauge plumbed into there, when we start the engine up, we should be able to see what kind of pressure we've got. So with it running now, camera adjust. This outer ring here is the PSI. It looks like we're getting about 50. So I'd say that's really good.
So this is how we wrap our bales. We don't do them in the field. We do them here next to the stack. That way we handle them less. There's less tears on them in transport. We seem to get a better quality by doing it this way. However, the downside is, this is a really tedious job. This job of, you know, loading the bales off the trailers, wrapping them, and then stacking them, seems to go really slow. And we always pass this job off onto someone else. Oh, do you want to do an hour? Do you want to do an hour? Well, now it's my turn. The reason why we wrap them this way is because this is for haylage, this is for horses. Horses are very particular. People who buy these don't want any tears, rips, mold, because rips cause mold, uh, because there's air getting in there. Or we, This is the most controlled way we've found to do the wrapping of these bales, to keep horsey folk happy. Most of our grass crop is actually done for haylage. We're actually a little bit early this year. We don't normally do it start of June. This is the, what, the 2nd of June? So what's happened here now is... What happened there was, it's a really old wrapper, and these bales are actually a little bit drier than we'd like them to be. And the bale is supposed to turn in the rollers. The roller is supposed to turn the bale like that. But because it's so dry, the roller is just slipping. It's not turning the bale. Therefore, the wrap doesn't cover the whole entire area of the bale. So every now and then, I have to get it, just flip it round. So yeah. We're a little bit early this year, but as you're probably aware, we've had some scorching weather and we didn't want to miss it. We know there's some rain on the way. And we don't know what weather we've got, we don't know what weather we've got towards the end of the year, so we're just gonna we're just getting what we can now. The grass isn't the thickest crop. We've had better. Uh, but the quality's pretty nice, so far so good. We've had this wrapper for about 15 years now, and we've done it this way for most of that time. And it kind of works, even though it's slow and you're probably thinking, why don't you get a new wrapper? Well, we probably could. I was gonna say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I think it just broke. So let's go fix it. The only problem, it gets oh so hot in here. It's not too bad at this time of night. It's, uh, what? It's nearly six o'clock. And at six o'clock, the shade comes in from behind the tree and it cools down a little bit. Otherwise, all day, you've just got the sun baking down on you. And it's just sweaty job. But when you start sweating, you're getting angry, you start dropping bales, you start bursting them open. And then the more angry you get, the more bales you burst, and <coughs> more bales you burst. Well, that shouldn't be on this side of the hedge. He should be over there, where the cows can graze. Not in the haylage field. Always got a white band around them. The belties are always the ones, always the ones that are out on the wrong side of the fence. Oh, and that's where he goes through. Never mind, and it's about to start tipping it down. Amazing.